and there she is uh, after the siren goal to Robbie Gray port by three um, very very raw reaction now it's only moments after the game um, don't get to do this often because we have a night game usually so I like to sleep on it but um, fuck huge huge um, huge one that's just gone slipping there huge opportunity that's gone slipping um, yeah very, very gutting you know such a good such a good game a good effort um, we're literally it's literally a Robbie Gray kick whether it goes if it goes to it for a behind and he misses this whole feeling it's on another level and that is obviously devastating for us but that's what makes the sport so great um, that was one of the better games I've seen all year uh, I think if you're a neutral watching that game it was you know it's just tense um, and you know we're, we're a side who earned some respect today I thought we're a side who clearly haven't learnt how to win yet and that was always a worry as that game got closer and closer and, and tighter and tighter towards the end uh, I found myself saying you know we don't know how to win yet we haven't learnt this yet and um, you know, you can point to certain moments in the fourth, you know, the three tools not having being able to compete at that last mark that Jonas gets and things like that. Um, but this is just reticent of, of where we are and what we're doing. We're, we're an improving football team. You know, we're not quite ready to um, win games like that yet. Uh, will they come? Yeah, they'll come. You've got to keep putting yourselves in those positions uh, to eventually learn how to overcome that for sure. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And so, you know, we've got to cop it. We've got to cop it. We've got to um, hurt. It's going to sting. Um, and, and the main thing is, can I just hope that that game doesn't uh, allow them to drop their heads for next week. I hope that they're able to feel that pain and, and allow themselves to bounce back next week. You know, if we win that game, we're, we're talking about finals and, you know, we're papering over the, the cracks that were obviously there. And this is a great example of, of a loss. Um, you know, you don't take your opportunities and and whatnot. Now, Port obviously had, they had quite a few opportunities to put us away as well. I thought they probably should have been up by two or three goals at half time. Dixon has three shots on goal, doesn't kick any of them. Um, and even in that fourth, like the, the Marshall miss from in front, the Robbie Gray miss from very close, um, the Dixon miss from 15 out in front. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, like I said after, I can't remember which game, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to be pasting a lot of the players today. There'll be criticisms to make. Um, but, I, you know, this is a team uh, after seven rounds who have pretty much competed in all of the games. Obviously, the St. Kilda one was very disappointing. Scoreboard flatters us. The Richmond one was disappointing. Um, but, you know, our ability to just get ourselves back in the game or get ourselves into a position to maybe win has been there. And, you know, at the end of the day, I can honestly say after seven rounds in 2020 that, you know, we are a team that is getting better. Um, we've got quite some way to go before we start talking about finals and top fours and, and things like that but that's okay that's not something I I looked at for this year going into the year I don't think many people did um, you know end of the day we were heavily underdogs today they were heavily favored none of the experts tipped us I saw on the Fox footy website it was 11 to 0 all for port so you know they were expected to win and and they did it. So fair play to them. Well done to Robbie Gray. He's a he's a great great uh, great player. He's a great human as well. Uh, obviously, he's overcome some real serious adversity. He had the testicular cancer. Um, you know, he's able to. You know, he's had a few ACLs as well. So well done to Robbie Gray. Fair play to Port Adelaide. Um, yeah, they're a good side. They're a bona fide final side, and you know that's where we want to get in a couple of years. So that's that. Um, the main thing is, like I said, can we take can we take today and, and not let it affect us mentally where we drop our heads next week that's the main thing you know early, let's just go through the game a little bit more cracking contest early I thought um, Port obviously kicked the first three goals and it, there was a little bit of oh shit it's happened again you know um, and then obviously we were able to bounce back and end up finishing the first quarter ahead now you know do we classify that as one of those poor starts? I kind of don't because it was more of a neutral first quarter. Yes, the first three goals were what they were, but we're able to wrestle back, which was very important. And to be ahead at quarter time after that first five, 10 minutes was that, um, you know, quarter two, you know, we're ruining this. The Levi miss hits the post. 
Farrell goes ahead uh, straight away and there's a 12 point swing there. Similar to last week with Murph, misses that goal from directly in front. They kick a goal. Um, so obviously it hurts us to this week. Um, the mistakes I noticed in that second quarter that set up Port's shots on goal. I think Kennedy kicked a, a, an errant kick, which ended up being a goal for Port. There was quite a few of them. We go to the third. Um, uh, you know, some of the umpiring decisions obviously didn't go our way. A lot of people will be mad about umpires. Um, it is what it is. You've got to write it. You just got to write it. You got to be up by enough so the umpiring calls don't hurt your game like today. So it was what it was. But I thought in the, in the third quarter the effort was there, kept coming, definitely was. I thought all game the effort was there. Um, so that was in the third. You know, I, I found myself saying in the third, hey, we're, we're really matching it here with with the good side. You know, Porter have established themselves in 2020 as a really good side. They're on top, five and one going into this game. Um, you know, we just kept hanging on in that third, but we just couldn't generate scores. The game dried up from a scoring perspective compared to the first quarter. Um, two, we, we found some space um, going forward, which was pleasing. In the second, we didn't find it as much. In the first, we were pretty much generating our scores from turnover, whereas in the third, we found genuine space moving forward, which I thought was good. Um, two very gettable goals in that third, Murphy and Martin, which didn't come through. That obviously hurts us more that we've now that we've lost the game the way that we have. You know, you know, in the fourth quarter, I thought, again, we lifted tremendously. Um, and then, you know, it all got tense for me. So I kind of stopped taking notes. But I, I had lifting tremendously and, and fucking umpires. Now, you know, it is what it is. I don't want to blame the umpires on the loss. Um, you know, because like I said, good, you know, great sides just uh, allow themselves to find a way to win games irrespective. And, and, you know, as bad as that was today, there might be a game in the future where, you know, those umpiring decisions go our way and we win the game. So... Yeah, and that was a game. Um, yeah, you got it. You, very much like last week on the Sunday game. Great performance. It was a perfect game. Win by 50. And then you spend a day, maybe two, feeling the emotions. Last week, it was very happy. Obviously, today, it's going to be very disappointing and, and devastating. Uh, you know, we'll take the 24 hours, the 48 hours to, to feel what we've got to feel. Uh, I don't have any, you know, real chastising comments, you know, trade him, fuck him, his shit, this, that. I don't have anything like that. Um, I saw a team today that um, really challenged and scared the fucking shit out of a Port Adelaide side, a top side, top two, three sides. I don't know where they're going to finish at the year, but the reality is that right now, you know, they're, they're six and one. So, um, uh, seven and one now, I'm not sure, anyway. Uh, and we've done that. We've played good against good sides. Now, like I've said probably twice in this video, ne next week it's got to it's got to be a response. Um, you know, we've got to be able to move on quickly. Uh, I'll, I'll go through the player ratings and, and give more in depth as to what I saw there. But listen, what about you? Well, what did you see today? Let's um, let's try and take away what we can from the game. What can we? You know, what worked for you? What didn't work? Let's try and keep it there. And then, um, yeah, let's start with there. There's my question to you guys for the comments. What worked? Give me something that did work and give me something that didn't work. Um, and let's sort of, I want to understand a little bit how everyone else saw the game. And yeah, uh, you know, very, very cut, very disappointing. You know, losing after the siren, that's that's the, you know, that's the childhood dream if, if you win. Uh, when you lose, you've got to feel what we're feeling. Um, so I'm gutted, I'm, I'm very hurt. But uh, fuck, I love this club. Love that effort, love the boys. And, uh, you know, along this journey, we're going to have slip-ups. Like I said in the show on Monday, it's, it's going to happen. It's reality of where we're at, we're an improving side. We're not, a, we're not there yet. So that's me. What about you? Let me have it in the comments and go the Mighty Blues. Hey!